Hello everyone, my name is Eric and welcome to another episode. In this episode, we are going to discuss with you about sesame. If you have been looking for alternative drought resistance crop, the answer is sesame. Sesame is a drought resistance economic variable crop. Sesame, it has the unique characteristic that if you are growing sesame, you are not looking for the market because the market is already there. In this episode, we are going to discuss with you from land preparation, sowing, the challenge you are likely to encounter during the production of this sesame. We are going to start from the land preparation. The land must be well prepared so that the time you are sowing, there will be less weed or no weed at all. Because sesame, they have less competitive characteristics when it comes to competing nutrients with the weeds. After rain have been prepared, the next thing is choose the best variety. Here in Tanzania, we commonly plant lean white. There is three categories of sesame variety. There is white. There is brown and there is mixture of brown and white. White used for bakery and a mixture of brown and white they are used for oil production. Once you already make your selection, the next step is sowing. Most of sesame they have poor germination capacity because the seeds they are small. It is very difficult to put three seeds per hole so that most of people in all time they use broadcasting which is difficult when it comes for management. For our case we are using we are digging hole about the spacing 35 centimeter to 35 centimeter and also we can use 45 centimeter to 45 centimeter from row to row. So you can choose your best spacing and the plant density. So, because they are difficult to put like, uh, like three seeds per hole, we just pour like this little one and this one just pour like that and cover. Make sure you're not covering too deep because the seed are small. If you cover too deep, they will not germinate. And uh, because they have poor germination, so it's very important to consider this while you are sowing. There is different way, as, as I said, broadcast like all time, which is difficult for management. For us, we use labor, and also you can use the planter. If you are using planter, make sure your farm is well prepared. And the next step is weeding. Weeding is very important when it comes to growing sesame. Why, as I said, that's why in running preparation must be well prepared because at this stage, the sesame are very weak. They cannot compete with weed. Once you leave the weed, the weed will dominate the sesame and you will not get the yield. That's why it's very important to, co to do air weeding to avoid this complication. And uh, another uh, fact is that this system, they use the nutrients after the fry, after flowering. So, which means at this stage, vegetation is the best step, best stage to apply a fertilizer, because most of fertilizer, seventy percent of the nutrient, they are used after flowering. So, it's better to apply at this stage. You can use booster fertilizer where you can put, uh, you can apply on the leaves so that once it reaches flowering, they can be consumed. Because 70% of the nutrients are consumed after flowering. That's why it's necessary to put fertilizer during this stage. You can see now we are putting fertilizer. And uh, this is the challenge you like to occur many plants so this can be addressed by thinning which means uprooting and remain three plants at least three plants two plants 
they are good. But with high plant density like this, you're not getting any yield. Another challenge you like to encounter is weed. Weed at early stage, they dominate the plant. So they kill the plant. So like you can see if this farm, it was timed well during weeding, you will never have this problem that you are seeing. You will see the, you, you could find the sesame there in good health. But if you want to grow, please make sure thinning is important and also weeding. The sesame at this stage is the critical stage where the sesame consumes you the nutrients. At all time, like you are being planted from sowing, they consume less nutrients. At this 70% of nutrients at the time the this system they are used or utilized by your plant. So you need to put that in your mind. So if you don't you didn't put fertilizer, you can apply also f f uh, booster fertilizer, which is will help uh, like those booster for flowering. So there is you can manage your put when they are vegetative you can put uh, your booster uh, focus with leaves and uh, at this stage you can put also the flowering booster so that you can get high yield and uh, as i said this is a alternative uh, uh, crop if you are looking for alternative drought resistance crop this system is the answer because system is a drought resistance economic viable crop and the unique with the system, you are not looking for the market because the market is the it's there. Because sesame, the seed, they have high market value. So you can see, guys, sesame seeds are commercially uh, commercialized in various form. Most of form are used to produce oil. The seed that produce oil, the one are brown and the white if they are mixed together or if they are in separate for the seed that also they are also suitable for various baker product and other good of food industry especially the white one and also raw or roasted sesame seeds are high demand when in the organic market so guys it's very important to consider this which seed you are growing and which market you are you, you want to sell there is the market is there but you need to have the right uh, variety that is needed for market if you are targeting for food industry you must plant white one if for oil extraction or oil production you can plant white or you can plant a uh, brown or the mixture of white and a brown however the mixture of brown and the white is not recommended when it comes to the quality of food and um, quality of your system I hope you get the value in this episode. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Bye.